Hey. Yeah. What we got? We've been to five houses owned by people named Smith. Still no hits, so I don't know. I guess just keep knocking. Wait, wait, wait a second. Kwan said there was a picture of what outside the house? Cats. OK. Excuse me. Can I help you? Yeah. Officer Al Water, this is Officer Ruzik, Chicago PD. We were hoping that you could help us identify this little boy. This is my son, Quan. He's, he's adopted. What's this about? Hi. What's going on? Well, it's the police. They're asking about Quan. What? Quan was kidnapped? That's what we're trying to figure out. OK. Uh, so on a business trip. I mean, he, Quan's supposed to be in school. Right, but he's not. When was the last time you saw him? What did you tell him? When was the last time you saw Quan? It was this morning, right? Two days ago. Two days ago? <laughs> How's that possible? You know how difficult he was. All the problems that, that I was having. Don't, 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 stop. Just tell me what you did. I, f I found a website, and there was this really lovely couple. You gave our son away? How could you do that? How? Are you out of your mind? Mr. How? Walk to the kitchen with me. We're going to figure this out. You have to understand that Guan has issues. He was always stealing money, food. It was too much. But with foreign adoptions, there's nowhere you can turn for help. So I started looking for a support group online, and that's when I found this Real Promises website. So you just gave him away? The orphanage lied to us about him. We asked for a boy under five, and instead they sent Guan. Todd had no idea how bad it was. He was always working. I was the one who was home alone dealing with all of this. And I was scared. I was, I was scared that he was going to hurt our twin girls. They're, they're young. They just turned four. And you never told your wife to get rid of him because he was difficult? No. Never? Absolutely not. Did you ever think she would do something like this? Never. I don't, I don't care what my wife said or what she did. I love my son. I'll do anything to get him back. It's not that simple. Why not? Your wife gave away a little boy to two strangers, who then gave him away to some tall guy who locked him in a storm shelter. That's why not. Hmm, so you went to this Real Promises website, you sent a message that said, we have a child that needs a new home. The next day, you get a response from a John and a Penny Marsden, right? Yeah, they wanted to meet right away. When exactly did you meet the Marsdens? Uh, that afternoon at four, when Quan got home from school. Right, um, what did the Marsdens look like? Um, the husband was short and, um, the wife was average looking. Uh, they were probably both about 40. OK. Um, telephone number, address? No. You think I'm awful? I know. To be honest with you, I don't think it matters how bad the situation is. I think it's very extreme to give a kid away, Miss Smith. 